In this video, you are going to learn how to create a Discord server for your NFT community. We are going to go through 12 points that are going to transform a basic Discord server into a professional NFT looking Discord server. Before we even begin, one thing to keep in mind. If you're not willing to be there and show up for your community on your Discord channel, it is pointless to create the Discord channel. So without further ado, let's see the 12 points and let's create this amazing Discord channel. We are going to start with the basics. We're going to start from creating a new Discord server. You can either install Discord on your computer or visit it from the browser. If you install it on your computer, you do have access to it faster and messages and notifications installed automatically. There is also a couple of other functionalities. So I do suggest that if you're using Discord to install it on your desktop. Once installed, you will see all of your servers and your connections on the left side. And all the way at the bottom, you will see a button to add a new server. This is how we create a new server for our NFT collection. So we'll create a server. We can select different categories. We're just going to start from scratch or from not a template, but from an empty empty canvas. We are going to create a community for a, a Discord server for the community. We are going to upload an image and type in the name of our server. Once all of that is done, you will be presented with something pretty basic and simple as this. You will have no members inside of your server and you will just have a couple of channels. Now, how do we transform this into a thriving community that looks something like this with all kinds of different statistics, metrics and uh, chats going on all at the same time. One thing at a time. First of all, we have to build credibility for our Discord server. So once we have created our Discord server, the next step to do is to verify our Discord server. If we go to the Discord page and we search for verification, we are going to have the chance to verify our Discord server. This is going to mean that our Discord server has been verified by us and this is going to build a, another level of authenticity and credibility with the Discord users that we are going to invite to our channel. Once that has been completed, next you have to set up the structure for your server. So setting up the structure for your server is pretty easy. There is two different ways that you can approach it. You can take a successful Discord server and copy more or less their structure. So if we go, for example, to the Lazy Tiger Wood Club and we check out the different channels and groups that they have, we can replicate something similar for our server as well. Since they're doing a great job, there is no reason why we cannot get the best things that they're doing and copy them into ours. Let's take a look at the Billionaires Club as well. We can see that it has a similar structure. So it has server stats in the beginning and we're going to see later how to insert those. Then we have important information regarding the project, community chats, guides and other things. So if we wanted to uh, create it for us, let's go back to our server. This is the way that we would create different categories and channels. Right click in this space and create either a channel or a new category. So if we create a category, in this category, we can add all of the different channels that we want. Now, I will not show you all of the different channels or categories because they are a little bit different from project to project. I will show you how I have structured my process lens uh, Discord channel. So we have the project, we have some main channels, we have some fun and learn and some video channels in the end. Very simple, very basic, enough for the audience that I have currently. The next thing that we're going to see is how to add roles to our server. So to do that, we would have to go to server settings and roles. In here, we can create different roles that we want to create for our servers and we can also see how many members are part of each role. To create a new role, it is extremely easy. All we have to do is select the name of the role. We're going to call this new and then we're going to select on create role. Now that the role is created, we can select a color for it and also we can select anyone, any other configuration such as the permissions, what does this role have and what can they access and so on. Once the role has been created, we are going to go back to our list of users and by right clicking on each one of the users, we can set them automatically a role right here. After that, we can create different channels that only specific users with specific roles can access. So he has been given the role of whitelist and he is going to be the only one 
being able to access the whitelist channel, which I haven't created yet. To create a new channel with a specific role, all we have to do is create a new channel. Inside of the channel, we can edit the channel and configure the perm permissions of this channel. So we can remove everyone and we can add the whitelist role that we have just created. So in here for everyone, we can disable all of the options while in the whitelist, we can uh, leave the default options as it is. So only people with this profile will be able to access. All right, now you have set up everything that you need to get started with your Discord channel. The next thing is that we need is a welcome message. So we set up the basic infrastructure for people to join our Discord channel. Now we need to set up a welcome message. I will show you a welcome message. This is the welcome message on my server. Now to create a welcome message, we can use the, use a Discord bot. The welcome bot that we are going to be using is called Me6. We're going to be using this one because it's extremely simple. Plus it provides a couple of other uh, services as well. To set it up, it's extremely easy. Once you go to the Me6 page, all you have to do is click on add the server. After that, you would select which, uh, which one of your communities you would like to add it to. So we are going to set it up in the NFT lottery. So all we have to do is set up. Once we give it the permission, our bot has been automatically invited and it will work immediately inside of our NFT community. So right now we have invited the bot and the bot is going to work. Now what we have to do is we have to customize the message for our bot. To customize the message, we have to go to the welcome action of our bot and in the different actions, we can see what we can send. So this is the message that is being sent. Hey, user, welcome to the server, the image and the, the uh, picture of the user. I think that's pretty fine for now. So we are going to just leave it like that. However, remember that you can also select the channel where you want the robot to welcome the user. So we're going to select the welcome channel and we're going to select this message. It's good practice also to write a short description regarding your process, just to remind every user that joins what your project is about. Once you have saved this, you can go back to your Discord channel and inside of the welcome, you will see messages just like this. I don't have anybody joining my Discord server yet, but it would look something like this. Another thing to see is that on our right side, if we click on the members list, we are going to see also all of the different members, including the bots that we have on our server. We are going to see the bot that we have just created is called MEE6. And if we wanted to get rid of it, we would just kick or ban from this server the bot. Like that, our bot will be completely disconnected from our web page and it will not impact or influence our web page in any way. The next bot that we are going to add to our Discord channel is a invite tracker. This invite tracker is going to allow you to create contests for your members to invite other members and give a reward for the members that have the most invites. This bot works just like this. If we click on the invite tracker, we are going to see all of the different invites that have been done by different people. We can see that Commander has invited quite a lot of people, apparently 23 people. The RPA champion, which is me, has invited 34 people. And like this, we can keep track of who is inviting who. And we can also see that Denomion is also inviting quite a lot of people. Therefore, this is a great way to build community and to build contests and to reward your users for inviting more users to your channel. To set the invite tracker is also extremely easy. We go to the invite tracker homepage, we add this channel to Discord, and just as the process with the other, with the other welcome bot, we select where we wanna add our, uh, our bot. We are going to add it to the, to the server that we wanna add it to, and invite tracker has been, has been set up. So if we go back to Discord, and we go back to our NFT lottery, we can see that the invite tracker is right here. Now, the next bot is going to be a server side bot. So this bot is going to tell us the statistics of our server. Just like the other big groups on Discord have, they have server statistics, the number of members, the total supply, min price, and other characteristics of their project. We wanna have the same thing on our server. So we do this with a server status bot. So to do that, we just search for server stats and we can select on any one of the bots. I will be showing you how to do this 
with this bot right here, Servostats bot. So just like with the other bots, we are going to invite this bot to our Twitter. There is a little bit more configuration that we'll have to do with this bot. So we're going to select the NFT lottery and we're going to authorize access to this bot. So there is a couple of things that we have to do to set this bot up. We have to give it permission. That is the first thing. So we have to give it send permission and embed links permission. And after that, we can call our bot and customize it. It is very easy to customize. Uh, you can check out all of the commands that they have. I will show you the basic customization and setup. So once we have added our bot, we can go back to our Discord. And if we go back to our channel, we can talk with the... Uh, we can talk with the bot, but before we talk with the bot, we have to make sure that the bot has the right privileges. So we can right click on the bot, go on the roles and give it the bot role. Before we have obviously created a bot role and we have added it the permission that were shown on the previous web page. So to interact with our robot, all we have to do is call our robot. We can call our robot and we can see how it answers. So it says that answer with s dash so if we answer with s dash uh, we can call our robot and see all of the help commands so for example this is going to tell me how to use my uh, bot and how to set up the different configurations for the server stats so that i can see things like this all members members bots and any other parameter that i want the next tool and functionality that we are going to add is going to add a little bit of action into our Discord channel. I mean action because we are going to add a Twitter feed or a feed from different social platforms. Now, why is this important? This is important because uh, it is going to create a little bit more traction and it's also going to create a little bit more visibility for our Twitter feed on our Discord channel as well. So this bot is going to post all of our Twitter feed. It is going to post it directly into Discord. It is going to retweet it directly into Discord. Let's see how this bot is set up. To use this bot, we would go to the tweet shift bot. That is the bot that I'm using in this in this example there is also other bots but we are going to be using the tweet shift just like with the other servers we would just tell it which server do we want to authorize our bot to work on after that is done we have to configure our bot so that it collects the information from our twitter account and posts it into our into our web page so to do that we would go to the dashboard and once we are at the dashboard we can configure our bot from the home, we would go to the Twitter feeds and we would select the Twitter account, which tweet we want to post inside of our Twitter feed. Now you can select pretty much any account. It doesn't have to be your account. All you have to do is give it a Twitter handle, such as uh, the Twitter name, Process Lens, select the channel where we want to post the uh, Twitter feed and press start. This is going to start immediately feeding our Discord channel with the Twitter feed that we have. And if we go back to Discord, I am using a different bot here, but I have, uh, I'm using a different bot here called Zapier, but I have also just added tweet shift bot as well. So they are going to do exactly the same thing. They are going to push the tweets from a specific account onto our Discord channel. The remainder of the points is just regarding setting up more bots to create your channel and make it more dynamic and interactive with the users. So I will not be showing you how to set up those bots, but I do want to share some of the experience that I got from setting up my own server to help you save a little bit more time and to give you a better overview of what Discord is. The first thing that I want to tell you about is Nitro. Nitro is the paid version of uh, for Discord. To, to know more about it, you would go to edit server profile and you can see here that if you want to get more features you have to unlock nitro nitro will allow you to give a header and to give a more, just more configuration and more capabilities to your discord server if you're just starting out i don't suggest it because it might be overwhelming discord does already have loads and loads of different functionalities that 
uh, are not apparent immediately that you learn just by using them. So if you unlock Nitro immediately, it might be just overwhelming. Another suggestion that I have is that you should market uh, or promote your channel via giveaways, weekly giveaways. You can create a giveaway channel on your Discord server where people can leave their address and once a week, you can have a robot that picks out one of the addresses and you can have you, you send them a random NFT or some crypto or whatever the giveaway is. And one last tip and suggestion for you is when you want to reach out to all of your users, when you have something important to say, you can use different hash, uh, different tags like this. And if you write everyone, this is going to signal to everyone and write the message signaling to everyone something very important. Use it wisely, but it is an extremely useful tool if you want to connect with everybody. There is more things about Discord, but these are 12 really important things and some tips that you should do to create a NFT server today. This video took quite a bit of time to edit and make and to configure. So if you liked it and if you got some value out of it, do me a favor and smash the like button below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. You are amazing.